Hi, and welcome to America's Next Dead Animal. I'm Ranger Rosie, and today we're looking for a black-footed ferret. Come on, let's go see if we can spot one. Well, today, we're on the Arizona Sonoran Desert, the only place in the entire world where you can find the endangered black-footed ferret. Now, the black-footed ferret cannot be confused with the domesticated ferret. It's completely different. And though it's different, it's in the family of the otters, the weasels, and the badgers. So, the black-footed ferret is about 18 inches long with a thick, furry tail protruding from its buttock. It's about six inches long and they roughly weigh about two pounds. Now, just like the other members of the family, they have little to legs and very long bodies. The ferret is yellowish brown and it has black paws and black across its eyes has very little tiny ears attached to its head and a cute little nose. These attributes, when they're put together, provide the most amazing camouflage for the desert environment in which they live. Ferret mating seasons last from March to April. The gestation of the kits commonly lasts about 41 to 43 days. So the black-footed ferret is a nocturnal animal and it survives on small, other small mammals, insects and small birds. Now, the sun is setting right now, which means that they should be coming out to their little hiding spots in the ground. Now one single black-footed ferret can eat up to 100 prairie dogs, which is their main meal. Since the ferrets are so dependent on the prairie dogs, the ferrets have to be in a close vicinity of the prairie dog's burrow. So right here in this area is a prairie dog burrow. All right, so let's go see. Oi! Ferret! Ferret, come back! Ferret! Ferret, I just want to talk to you! As of 2007, the black-footed ferret population was about 750 in the entire United States. This was about 10 years later, after in 1996, they fought this animal to be extinct. It was such a substantial improvement. for the substantial increase of population in the black-footed ferrets is due to a group of local scientists who took it into their own will to bring the ferrets into their science lab and to breed them so they could reintroduce them into the wild and so that they could live on their own and survive. Meeting this objective would turn the black-footed ferrets conservation status from endangered to threatened which is such an amazing feat. Hi, and welcome to America's Next Year Animal. I'm Ranger Rosie. Come here, Ferret, come back. Sushi me. Sushi party. Sushi lover. Right. No, we can see her. 